Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to create and work with footers in Uncode. Thanks to the page builder, you can create your own footer layout. This means there are no limits to design and functionality. You can create a classic footer with widgets and contact information, just like you can create minimal footer or creative footer designs with multiple sections, amazing video backgrounds, eye catching shape dividers and animated call to actions. Let's see how it works. In this example, I'm starting with a basic and classic layout. The footer is composed by two areas. The top part is named widget area, and here it's possible to assign a content block that can be created and edited with the page builder, while the bottom part is named copyright area. I remind you that the content block unique feature of Uncode is a fragment of content that can be embedded in one or more pages. If you haven't seen it, I invite you to check the content block video for all the information. You can see here the content block as it appears edited in the backend builder. I have a simple dark row with four columns. In each column, I have inserted a WordPress widget page builder module. These are the same widgets that you see on our preview page. Now our design is ready and we can connect this footer content block to all pages of our site via the theme options. To connect the newly created content block, you just need to set the theme options, footer, widget area, to this new created content block. That for internal organization, I named footer. Note that this option is also present in the page options. For example, if you want to remove or apply a different content block footer to selective pages. From now, all pages of the site will use this content block in the footer widget area. If you make a change to the content block, this change is applied to all pages. For example, let's come back to the content block and let's change the background color to this violet gradient. I save the content block. I refresh our testing page and here we are. The modification is applied to all pages of our website. Now let's find out how to work and modify the copyright area. That is the lowermost area of the footer and it's meant to accommodate simple contents, such as an automatic or custom copyright text and the social buttons. You can edit this area from theme options, copyright. Here there are some handy options. The hide copyright area that hide the default copyright area. The automatic copyright text, which allows you to change the default copyright notice and reserved rights text. The content alignment, which allows us to change the alignment, and the social link, thanks to which we can include or exclude social links. Note that the list of the social links can be edited by the theme options, socials. All these options are quite intuitive. For example, let's remove the automatic copyright text and center the layout. I save theme options. And I refresh the page. Here we are with a different layout for the copyright area. I would like to explain what the use is for the hide copyright area option. This option is useful for those who want to compose the copyright area with the page builder. In fact, if you hide this area, you can then recreate it inside the content block and have all the creative options offered by the page builder. Let's hide the default copyright area, let's save theme options, and go to edit our footer content block. For convenience, I paste here a custom copyright area that I've already prepared. It's just a simple row with two columns. As you can see, there are dedicated modules, such as the custom copyright or socials module that you can find in the element list. In this way, you will have no constraints and the maximum number of options 
to be able to place these elements in any position of the footer, change colors, and so on. This is a variation with a custom copyright area, with social links and an automatic copyright text. I remember for convenience that inside the Wireframes plugin, there are several footer models ready to be used and modified. I'll give it a try. I remove our simple footer with four columns, open the tool, and import this design. That's it. I save the content block. Refresh on our page. And here is the new footer that is already applied to all pages of my site.